Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are also going to talk about programmatic access uh, to your MQTT broker, but now we are going to use C programming language and Paho library. And in order to proceed with this project, uh, go to uh, GitHub and check Eclipse forward slash paho.mqtt.c repository. Clone this project to your local directory and use make or cmake. Uh, in uh, my case, I use the make. Let me show you how to compile it, use it uh, using make. Let me find it. Uh, yeah, it's here. So when you code this code uh, in your local directory, let me show you what I did. I have this git folder, then uh, paho.mqtt.c. Uh, my code is cloned in uh, this directory. So I used make, but you could use cmake if you like. So in order to compile this using make, just uh, open your terminal in this folder. And first, as I said in these instructions, type make in order to build this project and then sudo make install in order to install this package. And if for some reason later on you want to remove this package, just uh, type a sudo make uninstall in this folder and this library is going to be removed from your system. And if you want to build documentation for this project, first you have to install a Doxygen and GrabFizz to your system. And then in this folder type make HTML. Anyway, when all of that is done, you are going to have uh, your uh, Paco MQTT for C and you are going to be able to proceed with coding. So now what we are going to do, I'm going to uh, open uh, my Visual Studio code and you see what I have in folder for uh, this project, MQTT project. I have publish and subscribe.py from our uh, previous episode. Also, there you can find the cert folder where we uh, have our uh, certificate and keys and git folder where we cloned Paco C project. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, create uh, three new documents. So I'm going to create publish.c, then subscribe.c, and I want to create make file that we are going to use to compile uh, these two documents. And first we are going to deal with uh, this uh, make file. I'm going to uh, create build command and it's going to be quite simple. With GCC we are going to compile publish.c into output publish.bin by using a library paho minus mqtt3cs. Now you have to know what this actually means. So we are using library uh, uh, Paho MQTT3 for C programming language. Uh, and uh, this as at the end actually means that we want to use security. If you don't want to include uh, security into your project, you are just going to use uh, L Paho MQTTC. So for my project, I need uh, this S at the end and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to rename these two documents into subscribe.c and subscribe.bin. And I believe that I don't have any typos in here. Save it. Let's go to publish. So first we are going to deal with publish because it's uh, easier. And from both sides, uh, most of code is going to be the same. So first we are going to uh, deal with uh, publish side, then we are going to copy this entire code uh, into subscribe, and we are going to uh, edit that code uh, for the purpose of subscription. And first we have to uh, include a few libraries. So in include string.h next include stdlib.h then include stdio.h then we need to include unistd.h and we need finally to include mqt 
tt client.h and the next step we are going to uh, define our uh, constants so I'm going to uh, define address first our address let's make some space in here it's SSL column forward slash forward slash my local IP address meaning uh, local IP address of uh, my uh, local broker 192.168.0.24 another column and port number 8883 uh, this is a default port uh, for MQTT in case where we are using SSL then we need to define client ID and we are going to use client Donny now define topic we are going to use secret topic then define I'm not going to call it payload let's call it message uh, we are going to send message message from C okay now define QOS meaning quality of service I'm going to use to and I'm going to define time out let's set it to 10,000 all right and when I think of what we actually can do now, we could actually define password. Password, okay, four zeros. Now we are good to go. I'm going to create int main, basic form, return zero, And now first thing what we are going to do we are going to uh, create client mqtt client call it client simple now we need mqtt client connect options and call it options we are going to use mqtt client connection options initializer but we are going to use simple initializer not five okay uh, next step it's mqtt client ssl options I'm going to use SSL options and of course MQTT client SSL options initializer all right now we need a message so MQTT client message call it mess and of course mqtt client message initializer and finally we need a delivery token mqtt client delivery token call it token all right and we are going to create one integer for return code and now we are going to create our client so I'm going to create with MQTT client create 
first argument is going to be address of our client, then address of our broker, then our, our client ID, then MQTT client, no, it's all of capital letters, client per persistence default, where is default? Yeah, it's in here. And we don't need any persistence context. This is, this is fine. Well, uh, in the next part, we have to set some uh, options uh, for our connection. So I'm going to use options dot keep alive interval. Let's set it to 25. Then options uh, clear session set to one. All right. Options password, but we don't need empty space in here. And I'm going to use uh, this uh, password that we have uh, defined. Password, that's fine. Next options SSL. We have to provide the uh, address of our uh, SSL options. That's cool. Now for our SSL, we have to provide trust store. Trust store and trust store is going to be local path uh, to our certificate and that is in our uh, third folder certificate authority certificate so cert c a c r t all right and we have to provide username and username it's client id and semicolon in here all right and we actually need uh, two more options options uh, first one uh, it's server uri count set it to zero and another options server uris set to null and after all of this is done, we are actually ready to connect to our broker. So I'm going to use if statement. And first we have to check a return code, uh, meaning to set value for our return co code to MQTT client underscore connect. In here we have to uh, provide argument client and argument address of options and we have to check if this is uh, not mqtt client underscore success if this procedure does not return success we have to uh, react on that and we are going to first print that message connection failed with return code and percent %d and return code and I want to exit with exit failure all right but if everything is fine we are going to create our message first so I'm going to use mess payload is going to be set to message then mess payload plan is going to be first we have to cast it to integer then str lan of message and we don't need empty space in here okay one more thing meaning two more things actually q o s set to q o s constant another mess 
retained set to zero. Okay. We are ready to publish message now. So MQTT client publish message. First argument it's client. Second argument it's topic. Third it's address of message and address of token. Now we are going to use our uh, return code to check uh, whether uh, delivery of our message is successful. So MQTT client underscore uh, wait for completion. So client token and timeout. When that is done, we are going to use MQTT client disconnect, but simple disconnect without uh, five client timeout, then MQTT client and underscore destroy and provide path to client. All right. I'm going to save this and I'm going to copy this entire code to our subscribe.c. We are going to deal with that uh, part later on. And now we are ready to make this project. Okay. So I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to call make. Okay, we have our publish.bin. But now what I'm going to do first, uh, I'm going to restart uh, my uh, Mosquito server. So I'm going to use sudo systemctl restart Mosquito service. My password, that's fine. Now I'm going to open my MQTT Explorer. We are going to use Mona ID and I'm going to connect to it. All right, so we are connected uh, with MQTT Explorer. Now I'm going to use my C application in order to uh, publish message uh, to this broker. And eventually we are going to see uh, that message with our MQTT Explorer. But first I have to subscribe uh, to a secret topic. And I'm going to publish some message, something like, hey, okay, we are ready. So now I'm going to execute this app. Not publisher, it's publish.bin. Okay, let's do it. Uh, what's wrong? Aha, it's not cert, it's certs. I need one more letter in here. Let's let's try it again. I believe that that's the problem. Make it and let's publish this. All right. Let's see what we have in MQTT Explorer. This is message from C. All right. So everything works perfectly. So first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, change this in our subscribe uh, document. It's actually only one letter, but it caused the entire project to collapse. Okay, so what we are going to uh, change on our subscribe part. So uh, first, uh, this include the uh, statements are going to uh, remain the same. Address is the same, Donny, password, topic. Uh, we actually uh, don't need any uh, message in here. I'm going to remove it. Let's see what else we need to remove from uh, this place. Client, it's fine. We need options. We need SSL options. We don't need the message initializer. We are going to remove this. 
return code it's totally fine then what else we have in here uh, client creation that that's fine let's see these options keep a live interval it's fine clear session password SSL options trust store username do we have password yes we have password sever URI count uh, URIs that's that's cool totally connection statement that's also totally fine uh, we don't need any messages in here and this part where we are actually sending messages uh, it's uh, totally unnecessary I'm going to remove it and in this place I'm going to uh, add a subscribe function so I'm just going to copy uh, this uh, client connect we are going to change it a little bit so a return code is going to uh, remain the same MQTT client subscribe but without five simple subscribe function we need client instead of options we are going to use topic and we are going to use quality of service then we are waiting for a MQTT success that's totally fine and we are going to uh, change this part to subscription failed with uh, return code and RC then what we are going to do I am going to use command slip let's say 15 seconds and at the end I'm going to use MQTT client destroy and we are going to uh, destroy our client in order everything to be perfect all right this part is simple but we need one more thing so for now we have no way to react when message arrived and for that reason we are going to create callback functions but first I have to uh, explain uh, what this piece of code actually does sleep for 15 seconds why I'm going to use this code because our subscription it's asynchronous so if we don't put this piece of code in here immediately after we subscribe our client is going to be destroyed and we are going to get out from this application and we want to prevent that uh, so uh, now we are going to deal uh, with callback functions and one more thing I'm going to need uh, this token up here because we are going to use it uh, in uh, callback functions so first we are going to deal with connection lost case so connection lost I am going to uh, provide void context and char pointer cause and I'm just going to print connection lost that's all nothing special next it's void message delivered again I need void context and MQTT client delivery token let's say let's call it uh, TC I'm just going to print message delivered of course new line and we are going to uh, connect our token with TC all right and one more this one is the most important uh, it's integer message received uh, this function is going to be executed uh, when we uh, receive a message uh, from our broker and again we need void context 
then we need char topic integer topic len and mqtt client message message okay like this so in this case i want to print something like message received new line then tab topic space in here we are going to put a topic a topic name then another new line content of uh, this message but i want also some space in front and another string so i need topic in here and message payload but this needs to be cast to char pointer in order for everything to work well and for this function we need actually uh, two more lines of code uh, for housekeeping stuff and that is mq tt client underscore free message and i'm going to provide this message to this function and mq tt client underscore free and i'm going to provide topic to it and we are going to return one all right now we have to connect uh, these uh, three callback functions to our code okay where to put it oh all right i'm going to put it in here immediately after our client is created make some space i'm going to use if statement uh, once again i'm going to deal with return code is going to be mqtt client underscore set callbacks of course provide client first then void context is going to be null and now we are going to list our three functions so first it's connection lost second it's uh, uh, message delivered and message received and you actually need to provide uh, these three functions in uh, this order so uh, when that is done we are going to check result from this function is mqtt client underscore success all right So if we receive any problem with uh, callback functions, I'm going to print in here. Something like this. And exit, exit failure. All right, remove all of unnecessary empty spaces and i believe that that's done okay now we are going to test this code uh okay first i'm going to make uh, this code so we have some problem in here let me check what it is ah okay it's in callback with free message we actually uh, need uh, to provide address of message is there anything else let me try to compile this now okay we still have problems warnings actually okay something with callbacks let me see what's the problem in here 
Ah, yes, <laughs> I made a mistake that I warned you about. Uh, so first is going to be message received, then message delivered. Message delivered, okay. Let's see now. All right, now everything is well. All right, now I'm going to test our uh, subscribe app. So with subscribe.bin, let's see if I put some message in here. If I publish it, yeah, we got uh, content. How, hey, how are you? Topic secret, everything works perfectly. Uh, and our application start with execution after 15 seconds. So that's fine. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you like this content. So please like, subscribe and see ya.